Okay, today we get started out here with the brake lines. Uh, I am going to uh, pull this radiator off and bend my line so it comes out of here, goes down under the radiator, comes up over there, and then there's going to be a, like a T over here so that I'll bring this other brake line in and into the T, and then we'll go back down the frame uh, toward the body of the car, which is where the uh, master cylinder will be. Uh, first thing I need to do is get the radiator off here. I'm pretty lucky my radiator, grill shell, headlights, and everything are all pretty easy to manage. They're all together in this little sort of package form, which allows me to lift that off the car, set it safely out of the way so that I can do my work here, and then uh, put it back on when I'm through. Okay, I'll go ahead and shoot a little video. Uh, this side is basically all set. I had this little spring stuff that I could slip over here and then I've got a clamp that I can put right here. This goes down and under the, uh, it's to be under the radiator and over to here. What I'm doing right here is uh, someone on YouTube clued me in that these things need a, a double uh, oh, flare. The first flare is used by putting a, a little piece of uh, something like this into the end of the pipe and then flaring it down flat and then taking this piece out and then doing a second flare with this right into the end of the tube. Um, that's the process I'm working on here right now. It's my first time using one of these and it's probably just like anything else. Probably by the time I get finished with this I'll be pretty good at it and wish I had practiced on something else first. But you know, this is how you learn. It's just by doing it. So it's my first time doing these but uh, you know, I just read the instructions and followed them, and, and I think this is going to work. I'll let you know how it looks when I get a little bit more done. Okay, here's a few tips that might help. Number one, don't flare your end before you put your little um, <laughs> brass piece on the other side. If you do, you'll wind up cutting it off and starting over. Okay? Number two, clamp your... Uh, a tool onto the frame or someplace where it's nice and steady so that you can work with it because what you're going to be doing is you, you're going to be clamping this in here at an exact space with this in the end everything has to be tight so you can work with it if you're trying to balance it all and juggling around in the air that makes it really hard number three don't flare your end before you put this little piece back here okay I think I've said that enough That looks to me like a real good flare. Now that is going to fit into this T block, which is where the uh, brake line, the other end of this T block will go back toward the master cylinder in the center of the car. And the other side of the brake line will come into this T here. Uh, and I want this T block to be sitting up like this. So I'm going to get me a couple of half inch wrenches, tighten this up, and then tuck it up under here uh, with the idea that. Uh, the other line will come into right here, and then I'll strap it down to the frame somewhere there. Okay, the front brakes are in line. Uh, here's where it comes out of there and goes down in front of that radiator. I don't know if I get the light exactly right where you can see that. Uh, goes down in front of the radiator, it comes across underneath on this bar, comes back up, and comes out just behind the radiator on the other side into the T. Uh, and then it runs back toward the back of the car. The next thing I'm going to do is put the steering box on because right now I have this brake line running through the uh, mount for the steering box. I might need to move it and run it on top of here. If I do need to, I can just unscrew it right down there. And move it up here but if I thought if I had it inside here it'd be less likely to get banged you know if anything was going on around here but I have to mount my, my box and I've got a new box this is a, the box I have is a 57 Ford steering box but uh, 
it's a new one and what I mean by that is the old one was shot so it's, it's in a lot better shape than the old one so I'm going to get it mounted up here and then uh, I've got to do the rear brakes but to be honest with you I don't have anything in my rear brakes uh, if you take these drums off it's empty inside I've got to get shoes and I've got some springs but I've got to get pins and these old uh, these old brake cylinders uh, I don't know if they're savable or not I, I was thinking I could if, if I can get this old brake line out of here I could go ahead and mount my new brake line into that one with the thinking that I'll either rebuild this cylinder or I'll get me a new one but uh, I don't think I'm going to tackle that right yet I think I'm going to go ahead and put the steering box in place and then maybe move back here and work on this a little bit more <laughs> 